this is the best way to feed the sinking feed pellets. These are four mm of different lengths, right? So now we're going to teach you how to make this feeding tree. This is actually a tarpaulin that is suspended about 46 inches below the surface of the water. The purpose of it is not is to allow the feed to suspend on this tarpaulin. You tend to see some of the activities of the fish, if not all, and know when to stop feeding, or you feed gradually. So take a look. If you look closely, you will see some of the fishes. Yeah. So depending on the quantity of fish you have, that will um, determine on how much of the feed you are going to pour. But generally, um, if you observe or ask people who feed the sinking feed, you don't feed it like floating. You don't just, even, even if you are feeding floating feed, you don't just pack the feed and just dump it. You feed gradually, you spread, and then when they are done eating, you can also use a sieve like this to collect. Um, because we started feeding feeding them floating at a certain age before we start with our own local feed. So, because it sinks almost instantly, you, you know, feed gradually, you observe, you feed again, you can see them swimming onto the tarpaulin, you can see the activities, you hold on. You can see. You can as well spread it across the tarpaulin like this, gently, so that they can spread evenly. So you can see there are different ways you can do that, but the main purpose is for you to monitor. Even if you have a tin pond too, you can do this uh, feeding tray using a tarpaulin, suspend it, and you can put the food there. Yeah, so that's the essence of it. So you hold on. After a while, you feed a little more. So that is the essence of um, doing the feeding tree. And again, this is rainy season. Weather is cold. Um, they don't tend to eat too much. For those of you who are in colder climate, like uh, Plato State, uh, the rest of those other states that are cold, you will tend to observe that they don't eat much because they're cold-blooded animals. They don't eat much um, when it's cold. So you can feed gradually. It doesn't matter how many times you feed them a day, but gradually make sure they finish it before you feed another. Right? So I'll also take a break and feed them much later again. So it's better you feed gradually and they come to eat than you just dump the whole food there. So they're still eating.